All right, I wanted to uh, do a short video for Cal out at Tag in Douglasville, Georgia. I've only seen one other truck on YouTube with his bumpers on it. So I'm going to put my bumpers, rock sliders, and I have front and rear bumpers. Uh, rear bumpers got a tire carrier. But I'll show you all that, show you what he can do. He does do good work. Uh, he installed my rear bumper and my sliders because I took my truck to him. Um, but he, uh, he's got some good products. Anyway, that's just his card. Here's a shot of the rock slider. I had him cut my rock sliders down just a little bit. I didn't like how the ones he built were uh, real wide. Uh, I think they were right at eight inches wide. Mine are about six inches wide. Um, I think he's gone to this style now. I'm not for sure. But you can see they mount directly to the frame. They go all the way through. He bolts them on the back side. And I have picked this truck up from the side with my high lift jack and those sliders didn't give any. Um, but I really like those rock sliders he built for me. He's the only one I could find besides one other person that built rock sliders for Nissan Titans. This is the first thing I bought from Kyle, which was my bumper. Um, I got a winter. I had him put the little small uh, pre-runner style grill guard on it uh, with lights that was extra I had him put a high lift jack mount on there which was extra and I had him put the uh, shackle mounts instead of the D-rings he can also weld on D-rings if you don't want the shackle mounts really solid bumper it took me and two other guys about four hours to get it put on there, but we had never done one before and we were taking it slow. Um, you can see how it tucks into the body of the Nissan instead of sticking way out. I have a good approach angle and departure angle with this truck. My rock slider on the other side. And then this is my rear tire carrier and rear bumper. I had Kyle put the backup lights or reverse lights in the rear bumper. They're LEDs. They do work really well. I had him also put the shackles back here, shackle mounts back here. Um, I had him put a step right here under the license plate. Um, and he did weld me a receiver hitch in there. I think he's trying to fabricate maybe a little bit different mount on this rear bumper. Um, mine is a 2010 and they changed the way they mounted under here. Uh, the rear tow package on the 2009 and up is actually part of the original bumper. So we had to take and uh, pull all that tow package off and he welded that receiver hitch on there. But I think since then he might have changed that a little bit. I gave him my rear bumper so he could work on that. Uh, I think he actually maybe kicked me some money back because of that rear bumper. If I remember right, he paid me for that rear bumper. The tire carrier holds a 35 inch. It'll hold larger, um, but all I run is a 35 inch wide or a tall tire. Do have a jerry can mount. Um, everything's tucked in pretty tight. Kyle also built me that mount for this old military pental. Um, that way it swivels 
360 degrees and it doesn't get in a bind. Anyway, that's a few shots of the bumpers and the type of work that Kyle does down there at TAG in Douglasville, Georgia. I'm going to put some more videos on here of the truck actually pulling the trailer off-road, maybe today or tomorrow, and uh, get a better idea of what those things will take. Thanks.